The Olympics is a huge global stage for our team, and it's the most watched event in the world. Every time we do a show, there's always a surprise. When we thought about the opportunity at the opening ceremony, there's no doubt we had to push ourselves. How do we prep for the Olympics before we're even on site? There are so many tests that the teams did in Germany and in Finland. Before we came to Korea, we had a plan. We had an agenda. We knew wins were going to be tough. Basically a last minute checklist of what we're going to go through to make sure we're ready to fly and make sure that the weather is okay. The landscape here is cold, snowy, icy, with very, very high winds. There have been a lot of challenges. What do you mean the animation's over there? We can't fly in that area. We have got the field without network right now. Is it launching? No. You can never predict weather. Let's take a step back and see how we can solve together. We always find a way. We've mostly done shows about 300, so to jump to 1,200, it's been a huge team effort. World records are meant to be broken. We are a minute and a half to launch, about three and a half minutes until animation. Every late night, all the sacrifices, our fingers are crossed, my heart's pounding. 30 seconds to launch. Everyone is a little bit quieter. Five, four, three, two, one, launching. Three, two, one, trigger. It's hard to describe watching a drone light show live. When you see 1,200 drones traveling up the snowy mountain, it's so memorable. There's nothing like it in the world.